Hey everyone, this is Chinmay back again and in this video uh, I am going to uh, introduce uh, something which I, which like I have been implementing since like uh, today's evening after my work. So it's 4am right now in Japan and uh, I was just working with the authentication service and like yesterday I have, I think yesterday I uploaded a video about the microservice architecture I am implementing on Rust. So for that particular uh, project today, I started working with the authentication service and I just wanted to make, I mean, I, I just wanted to do, I just wanted to follow up pretty well, like a proper industry grade uh, way to set up an authentication service. And that from here, I will be following the same patterns for other uh, services as well. And for the API gateway service, also like which we have uh, I mean, which i have implemented yesterday so basically if i just like quickly uh, try to explain uh, like uh, what i did to, to set up this, this service and how it can help you uh, to set up your projects uh, like in a better way if you are working with rust so uh, first of all i just want to let you know that whenever you talk about microservice or whenever you try to set up a microservice project then interfaces are something which you cannot ignore and which or which you should not ignore because like i mean if you ignore the interfaces then you won't be able to write a maintainable and scalable code and like if you if if, if you're not writing maintainable and scalable code uh, and and still you are working with the microservices architecture it doesn't make any sense because uh, we of course we we choose microservice to make our code more maintainable and scalable there's the only only reason we work with microservices and and while working with microservices if you don't use tra uh, interfaces or it trades in terms of rust uh, it doesn't make any sense so basically like if i try to like uh, walk you through like how i designed uh, this particular authentication service and how i am trying to i mean how i am thinking to design my other services as well so uh, in one word basically i i like i mean this authentication service are built with the trade based design patterns and that make it both like a robust and a, like highly scalable and maintainable a code base as an individual service and from now on, now onwards i decided to design other services like in the same way basically so like the problem was uh, like initially uh, when i implemented this service uh, i was not using trade based uh, design patterns and what i felt that uh, doing th that way everything was working of course there was no errors and the warning but the code was not maintainable at all like even like like even it as of now it just have like few things like log like basics like authentication flow but the code became became very messy and it was not a well like it, it was not much uh, understandable for, like even for me and like even though like i wrote it but it it was not very very understandable uh, thing for me so i mean uh, that's the point where i decided to uh, do a, a, a lot of refactoring and like that ref and and, and and the base for that particular refactoring was to uh, use something like some industry level refactoring or the design patterns so the d design patterns here i am like and then like uh, the design pattern i decided to use of course like as, as i said there was a like trade based like interface based i mean then that's a big a backbone of your mac service architecture whenever you are working with it uh, so uh, like of course i am doing i'm using aws cognito uh, to build my authentication service so what i wanted that i want uh, I wanted this service like that it handles the authentication flow like like all the handlers and the database operations and third party integration like AWS Cognito and the routing like separately in a very neat and and, and clean way and like when I will be showing you the code now and like you will be feeling that okay this code is super neat and clean yeah of course there might be like some room I mean there might be some space for like a further refactoring uh, but as of now it is like a well maintained and like a scalable code architecture okay uh, so uh, as of now the architecture wise i can say that i'm using trace as, as you can see here 
so and when you work with tray like trades are just like interfaces so basically uh, that they are nothing they are just like contracts which you need to implement in, like to the handlers or like to some uh, some classes and then and then you have to write code in that particular class according to the uh, contract uh, you have created or, or or you have done with the uh, trades or the interfaces so here these are the contracts as of now because this is like the authentication service and i am trying to follow the solid principle as much as i can as i can so the like single responsibility pattern should be there so uh, authentication service does nothing but but handles only the authentication so here i have written like two interfaces like two traits first is or the authentication handlers and second the, the user management so the, i want this service to do two things mainly the core feature will be uh, handling the authentication flow and, man and, and managing the user so also only two like traits are there and then uh so like the, the, these are the traits and the interfaces and these are the handlers which are like following or like implementing those contract or traits so, like, so the auth handler is implementing that trait from traits file like authentication handlers and then in handlers we are implementing that so we are imp implementing authentication handlers for the auth handlers and then we are we are initializing auth handlers here with the cognitor and the, and, and the db pool so here we are like implementing register confirms registration and uh, login and you can see methods are here register confirm registration and the login and, and the logout and then we are implementing uh, the user management handlers for auth handlers as of now i just like i'm not, like i just don't, don't want to create a like separate handler like for the user management because like i think for now it's okay and like that, that doesn't make much sense because uh, as of now we have very few responsibilities to hand to, to get handled by this service so uh these are the states and then yeah so the two traits i have implemented here and then i'm implementing i mean i have written them there and then i'm implementing them here so basically what happens like uh, what is the advantage of this way of doing it like if like tomorrow maybe if i don't want to use cognito or maybe like if i want if i want to keep using cognito and and i, I also want to use firebase or any other third party authentication then i just need to write that i just need to write the implementation and and i don't need to uh, change these uh, traits or the interfaces basically okay so th th this is like the advantage of doing this thing so for an example uh, all i need to do just swap the implementation in the handlers function it, it itself uh, and i don't need to uh, rewrite or i don't need to redefine my contracts so i know so when i when i'm having such contracts i know what i exactly need to do to make the authentication flow work so whenever so i just need to change the implementation not the context so, so so like i just need to re i just need to build the home but i just don't need to re uh, rethink the design the architecture and the idea i mean that's how it, it works if i am able to uh, convey here in this particular code base we are having uh, this mod dot rs file where we are defining our routes and the handlers so basically in this particular code uh like the the core feature of the like ha handlers is just like get the request and then return the response i mean that's what a handler should do and that's what we are doing here i mean in 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 this way of writing code so these are these are your handlers method or they like route handlers so they take the request and they and they return the response that's it and then when you come to the handlers they do what they are supposed to do they interact with the services and the and the repositories like the database so like for an example if you go to the register method it's like take the request and then it just call the cognitive service okay and then it just uh, do something or whatever it it wants to do with the congress service and then yeah it just like return the response and here we like do again we use congress service and if needed we use the like 
database repositories and then return the response and we and we are returning response from here to here and then from here to the, uh, the client so if you come to the model so like i have defined all the required models here and then all the handlers here errors here and the routing here so like route handlers and that reads here so these handlers are implementing or the yeah implementing these these contracts and based on these this implementation uh, these route handlers are accepting and returning accepting the request and, and returning the response to the client so i mean that's how i'm doing it in a very neat and clean way okay and then again like as same as yesterday this is my project structure where i'm having like the two configuration one is like the, the root configuration and second the like uh, internal yeah so if you uh, try to implement your code i mean if you try to structure your code this way i guess uh, it will be very neat and clean uh, code architecture for you and it will help you a lot and uh, and one of the very good advantage of this way of architecturing your code is that it is extremely uh, i mean it is very easily testable so like when you are work working with in interfaces uh, it's very easy to write unit testing uh, while uh, mocking your contracts and you don't have to interact with the real db and the real networking calls so that is again like uh, one very good feature of this and yeah another thing is that like there is a very nice error handling if you do things uh, this way so oh, overall i just wanted to let you know that how i am doing things or like this is a way i do or i am doing and i'm going to like keep doing this so yeah thank you for watching and that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye